What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we are going to be talking about the 1.19 update, which we will know officially next Saturday, October 16th. The event's going to be at noon, I think Eastern time, and we are going to learn everything about the 1.19 update. We are also going to hear a bit more about the 1.18 update, I hope. We're going to learn some more about Minecraft Dungeons. And, of course, there will be a new mob vote, which they have just started teasing today. And we should actually find out those mobs and what we're going to be voting on within the next few days. They're probably going to start releasing them uh, one at a time. We'll probably get one tomorrow, the next day, and the day after. Uh, that's just how I assume they're going to release them. But we're going to be able to see trailers of them and start talking about which mob will be the best fit for Minecraft. Now, if you're wondering what the gameplay is that... Uh, we're looking at it's actually a realm world that my friend Nerpa started and we're actually just playing around having fun on it They've actually been playing for a bit already and I just started playing today So I thought I'd include the little footage of me playing on this realm today So let's start talking about the best 1.19 theories out there The two leading theories are the first one being the end update since 1.9 was the end in combat update, a lot of people think that we're going to get another end in combat update in 1.19. Of course, about a year ago, Jeb was actually working on some combat update snapshots, so it is very possible that we do get uh, some additions to combat in the 1.19 update that could change PvP up a little bit. It wouldn't really affect anything in a single player world, but you know, if you're doing PvP on servers or things like that, it could have some slight changes there. Uh, the end update, of course, could bring new biomes, it could bring new mobs, it could bring a lot to the end and would be very interesting and would kind of complete the trilogy of the dimensions that they've been working on. The second leading theory is a complete biome overhaul in the overworld. So, of course, they're doing a lot of work on the overworld right now and it would make some sense to do a follow-up update to the overworld and change up some of the biomes that are getting a bit boring. A lot of people think deserts and a lot of the warm biomes are really boring. Uh, that of course is deserts, savannas, uh, the biomes like that. And we actually talked about that in a recent video. It is very possible that this would be the next update. And I think since they've put archaeology off until a later update that archaeology would be a huge part of that as well. As I've said before, archaeology would be a great way to update all the biomes. It could be a major structure update that adds a lot to the game, adding some new rare structures for you to find. Of course, they showed off at last year's Minecraft Live that there would be uh, new types of pottery that you could make that would kind of tell a story with different pieces that you find. I think archaeology is actually an insanely cool update and could definitely be really cool as a fleshed out whole update and would work as a way to update, especially the warm biomes of Minecraft. So this warm biome update included with archeology span and the end update are really our two best bets of what we're gonna get in 1.19. They've also said before that they aren't gonna be doing a new dimension until after they've fleshed out all the dimensions that we currently have in Minecraft. So I really don't think that 1.19 would be a new dimension update since they really haven't done a major end update in like five or six years. Also in the Minecraft Live announcement, there was a lot of references to the number four, which a lot of people think are references uh, to possibly a fourth dimension or a fourth boss being added to the game. So currently there are three bosses in Minecraft or boss bars. Uh, of course, the Ender Dragon, the Wither, and then a Raid. And now the Raid isn't exactly a single boss, but it does have a boss bar, so it's still counted in that and was slightly referenced in uh, the references of four in the Minecraft Live trailer. So a fourth boss would be extremely cool and we could see that in a variety of ways. It could be a new boss in the end, it could be a new sky boss somehow that relates a bit more to phantoms. It could be a lot of different things, but Mojang always has a great way of surprising us, so I really wouldn't be surprised if it were a new boss in any of those forms. And especially since Mojang usually does exactly what nobody is expecting, it really wouldn't be a surprise if they didn't do the end update for this one. Uh, they will eventually have to do an end update. They've talked a lot about how the end is a place where not a lot of people go, and I think making an update to either the Ender Dragon fight or the actual outer wastelands of the end, they could change a lot about it. 
The nether of course has its wastelands and the end is basically an entire void wasteland as well which does make sense for the dimension but it could be a lot better if there were a lot of biomes and a lot of places that made people actually want to go and build there and you know take on that difficulty of the end dimension. Adding new blocks to the end dimension could also make a lot more people want to go and collect those blocks as well. If there are a lot of cool blocks in the outer regions of the end, a lot of people are going to want to travel and spend a bit more time there rather than just going there to get an elytra and some shulkers and then leaving and never going back. Especially since the most recent update made shulker boxes even easier to get, considering that you can now make a shulker farm that will basically infinitely pump out shulker boxes until your chests are too full to hold any more. Even though that this type of farm is fairly difficult to build, if you do build it you basically never have any reason to go back to the end because you've already got everything that is out there. This is something that Mojang definitely really wants to change in the future. How they go about it we really don't know yet, but considering that it could be the next update, we might find out very soon. Those are basically our best ideas for what the 1.19 update could be. If you have any ideas of what this update could be or agree with one of our ideas, let us know down in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We're going to be talking a lot about the 1.19 update next week. And we're going to be talking a lot about the mob vote all this week as we learn more and more about the mobs. We'll definitely be putting out a video talking about all the mobs that they release for the mob vote and what their possible drops could be, all that sort of stuff. So definitely stay tuned this week because we're going to be talking a lot about all this new update stuff. That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.